In the northeast corner of Van Cortland Park lies Indian Field, a simple name that belies its tragic origins. A small monument of stones and a plaque currently mark the final resting place of Native American volunteers who gave their lives during the American Revolution, forever known as the site of the Stockbridge Indian Massacre. It was here Chief Daniel Nimham and the Stockbridge Mohicans made their last stand. In fact, the regiment consisted of Native Americans from tribes across the New England colonies, volunteers who had fought with General George Washington in every campaign. In the summer of 1778, while Washington encamped in nearby White Plains, the Indian regiment had been harassing British troops in the neutral zone, as the Bronx was known then. The Loyalist Queen's Rangers, under the command of Lieutenant Colonel John Simcoe, set a trap for the Patriot Indians. He, along with Lieutenant Colonels Andreas Emmerich and Bannistry Tarleton, later known to history as Bloody Ban for his actions in the Southern Theater, set out to punish the Stockbridge Indians and punish them with extreme malice. The battle took place on Monday, August 31st, 1778. All the battle, the entire battle, took place within park grounds. And this is quite unusual to have a Revolutionary War battle in New York City in a place that is exactly the way it was back in 1778. And today, September 3rd, is as close to the battlegrounds in the time of year when the battle took place. T tremendous amount of leaf, leaves on the trees, a lot of coverage, uh, a lot of growth where patrolling and scouting an area is, is a very difficult and dangerous uh, time to be uh, patrolling and, and scouting. The British like to go on patrols and they hate it. And in all their writings, they felt that the Americans are fighting like the Native Americans and this is not this is not proper. They're not fighting the proper way. They should be lining up in regiments. And this is one of the reasons why the, the massacre took place is because the British officers who were surprised by the Native Americans wanted to get revenge for them whooping and hollering at almost capturing a British officer. And that's why they came up here and planned their massacre and took place right here in the park. Maps of the period still survive, clearly showing the onslaught of the British cavalry. The Indians who did escape received little or no quarter. They were fleeing towards Tibbetts Brook to the west and ultimately they asked to surrender. The British asked for them to surrender and when the Native Americans came out to surrender and be captured, they were cut down by Tarleton, Emmerich and Simcoe, hacked and murdered right here on Van Cortland grounds. By the end of the day, Chief Nimham and his son were dead. In total, nearly 40 Native Americans lost their lives. 17 of them, Stockbridge Mohicans. Now this was such a horrific event that the people of Woodlawn at the time were so upset by it, they found out that dogs were roaming the streets bringing Native American Indian body parts, dragging them through the streets. So they did the only right thing they could do is they prepared a burial place and built a cairn. Last spring, the Parks Department released the master plan for Van Cortland Park a roadmap of sorts to restore the park's natural beauty and increase amenities in the park over the next two decades. The ambitious plan has caught the attention of the Kingsbridge Historical Society, who say a proposed dog run will diminish the memory and sacrifice of the American patriots who lost their lives there. Considering the gruesome aftermath of the battle, it's hard to argue. And, and usually once a year, somebody from the tribe is here to honor them and, and show them the respect that they deserve for, for their lives they, that they lost during the American Revolution. And all our historical societies are after is to make sure that we don't forget their sacrifice. We don't forget the sacrifice of the men who, who serve today, and we don't want to forget the sacrifice of the men and women who served in 1776 and beyond. And that's all we're about, is, is a little honor and a little respect.